And the next item, uh, item D, is Admiral Court. It's a request for an amendment to the planned, uh, to, to a planned development permit to establish the shopping center parking requirement for the cross retail dock uh, development per section 12.96.200 and 12.96.190K of the San Bruno Municipal Code. Staff report, please. Thank you. Uh, good evening. As you indicated, the item before you is a request for an amendment to the planned development permit for the Crossing Shopping Center. Uh, the Cro Crossing Shopping Center is part of a master plan community with the entire Crossing Development. And uh, the Crossing Development consists of 20 acres. And as indicated in the staff report, uh, there's, I believe, just over 1,000 housing units within that development, the future hotel site, as well as this building, which is 12,250 square feet in area. Uh, the plan development zoning for this site and the specific plan do allow for the Planning Commission to adopt a different parking standard than is established in uh, the Municipal Code. Um, as that was not done previously, we've applied the standard parking requirement for this site. Um, and as you see in the table in your staff report on um, the third page, the project was approved as 12,250 square feet in area, and at the time the application was made before the Planning Commission, the applicant had proposed a restaurant of about 4,000 square feet with the remaining area intended as retail. Uh, when we apply the standard parking requirement, it resulted in 73 parking spaces for the site. The applicant has designed the development to include 73 on-site parking spaces. Um, there's been some negotiations with the City Council, and as the Planning Commission is aware, we do not currently have a restaurant with a large capacity uh, that could accommodate banquets and large parties. Uh, so the applicant has agreed to increase the size of the restaurant to 5,000 square feet, um, and that does bump up the parking requirement um, to, an, to 60 parking spaces just for that larger restaurant use. Uh, when we took a look at this project, um, we discussed applying the shopping center parking standard to this site. Uh, the shopping center parking standard is applied to sites that are, I believe, three um, acres in area with a mix of uses. The crossing development itself is 20 acres in area, as I indicated, does have a mix of uses. Uh, the crossing retail parcel is just over one acre and is intended to also have a mix of retail and restaurant uses. Uh, so staff is in agreement that this shopping center parking ratio would be appropriate at this site, given the mix of uses in the area. Uh, so when applied that standard, it's one space per 200 square feet, and that would result in a parking requirement of 61 parking spaces. Uh, the applicant will continue, though, to provide the 73 on-site parking spaces as designed, and we have added a condition of approval that those spaces remain, even though it's in excess of the parking requirement. Um, the site is designed as a transit-oriented development. It's in close proximity to um, a lot of different transit options with the bus line as well as BART. It's also in close proximity to a regional shopping center. And as I indicated, there's a mix of, of uses on the site with over 200 residents, potential customers living right there, um, and great pedestrian connections so they can <coughs> easily walk to the restaurant and the retail uses. So staff is supportive of this parking requirement. We feel it would further the goals of the transit-oriented development as planned. I'd be happy to try to answer any of your questions. The applicant is also here this evening. Thank you. Are there any questions? Staff? Okay. Hearing none, thank you. Uh, if the applicant can please step forward, state your name and uh, detailed description. <laughs> Hello, my name is Dominic Giacalone with Stegner San Bruno. Uh, members of the commission, uh, chair, thank you for considering our request <coughs> to change the parking ratio here to the one, two, one per 200 uh, shopping center designation from the various ratios that exist in the current code. Uh, as you all know, part of this development includes a, an anchor restaurant space and we're very happy to have uh, signed a group up in the front end uh, to occupy that space for us. Um, after some discussion with the city and, and some things that they'd like to see, our operator decided that they needed to do a slightly larger restaurant than we had originally uh, uh, considered here. And so uh, it's gonna end up right around 5,000 feet, which entails some additional parking. Um, we think our request is reasonable for many of the reasons Lisa listed uh, over a thousand units uh, within a you know a couple hundred yards of the space 
over 2,000 customers, um, as well as being uh, across the street from Tan Fran Regional. We'll get some cross shopping between this, the, the two, very close to BART, very close to uh, bus line, um, transit oriented development. And uh, so, uh, in addition, uh, our neighbors, the SNK group, um, who are building kind of the last phase of residential, uh, are very much in favor of this change as well. Uh, they, so we have the approval of our group uh, of neighbors as well, and so we, we think it's a reasonable request. I can answer any questions you might have. Thank you. Are there any questions uh, for the applicant? Okay, thank you. I'll open it to the public. Is there anyone from the public w who wishes to uh, speak on this subject? Okay, we'll now close the public hearing. Bring it back to the commission discussion. Through the chair. <coughs> if there's no other questions or concerns, <coughs> the commission, I'll make a motion that we approve plan development permit 08-001 <coughs> based on finding of, based on the finding and subject to conditions of approval one through two. Second. On the question, I think it's three conditions on that. <coughs> Lisa, am I reading that right? There's three conditions on the back page, isn't there? <coughs> yes, sir. Okay. Two <coughs> conditions and one finding of fact. All right. <coughs> so minus the typo on the front page, then one through three. Thank you, Commissioner Marshall, for pointing that out. I usually can't count past that high, but <laughs> since there's only three, I can figure it out. One, two, three. All, okay. So we move and second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. <laughs> and is there a 10 day appeal process in this as well? Yes. Yeah. Okay. There is a 10-day appeal process before any action can take place. Thank you.